Yo, what's up, Wealth Champion? Listen, we're talking 10 ways to build your influence on social media. Um, we're in this age where becoming a social media influencer is very lucrative, and I'm gonna show you these 10 tips on how to do just that. And if you stick around to the end, I'm actually gonna give you two free gifts that can help you accelerate your path to building an influencer. So if you're serious about making an impact, making a difference, building a large following that you can bless with your knowledge and who you are and what you bring to the table. You do not want to miss any part of this series. So make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification. But let's get to part one of our 10-part series on how to become a social media influencer. Number one. If you are talking or if you are trying to become an influencer, the first thing you absolutely must do before you get down on this journey is you have to get clear about your why. Put in the comments, why do you even want to become an influencer? Why? Because if you don't get clear about the why, I can promise you one thing. You're going to run into some challenges in this game right here. Being online, being on the internet, trying to impact the world. If you're not clear about your why, you're going to run into some things that are going to make you quit the minute you get started. And let me say this. Money ain't enough. Because I know somebody's going to be saying, man, I want to become an influencer because I heard that The Rock, for every post he makes for a company on his social media, he makes $1.1 million. I heard that Kim Kardashian, for every post that she makes on Instagram for a company or a brand, she makes $950,000. I heard that Kevin Hart is in the six hundred and fifty dollars to $700,000 range, right? But let me tell you this, money ain't gonna be enough to keep you in the game long enough to get to that level. Let me help you with your why. My good buddy, uh, Sean T. Hill, shared this in one of our trainings uh, in a game changer a couple weeks back. And shout out to my extra digit movement family, by the way. Um, because we've got another event coming up this Saturday, this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday where it's all about mindset, it's about getting your mind right, it's about getting your money right, it's about getting your messaging right. And he says, when you write down the word why, W-H-Y, then here are some things that you could leverage to help you really define your why. Number one, what has you? See, think about what has you, what has you? your attention my wife and i went uh this weekend it was so nice here in st louis one of the first nice days of the year really spring like days low 70s breezy it was nice and we went and we did a, a little walking around the park and went and got some uh clementine's ice cream it was just it was just dope day and uh, we stopped and i had her take a couple pictures of me and I said, man, why don't you take a picture of me like this with my hand out like this? And then she took the picture and then I said, you know what? Because when I have my hand out like this and one of my marketing messages, maybe I can put my book on my hand. And she said, man, you never stop thinking about that stuff, do you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry, baby. It has me, right? This marketing, this media stuff has me. That's why I want to become an influencer. What hits you? What hits you? Right? What impacts you in a way that may not impact anybody else on the planet impacts you to a degree that you just got to do something about it? What hits you? What hurts you? What hurts you? What literally causes you pain? And you're saying, man, to become an influencer can position me to alleviate the hurt, not only from myself, but because I know 
millions of other people are hurting because of this thing. What hurts you? What helped you? What helps you be who you are? What's going to help you be more than you are right now? And you're thinking that becoming an influencer can help me be more of me and I can have a bigger impact. What haunts you? Again, I can't take credit for this. This is my man, Sean T. Hill. He, he dropped this song in and it just, it just stuck in my spirit. Right? What haunts you? What's keeping you up at night? And you're saying, becoming an influencer can help me exercise some of these demons. But not just me. The same thing that is haunting me is probably haunting tens and thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of other people. If I can solve for this for myself, then I can impact them as well. In order for you to get in this game and become an influencer, you got to get clear on your why. Why do you even want to do this? And money is not enough, right? You got to get clear on your why because your why is what's going to push you and your why is also going to pull you, right? But it's got to be strong. All right, my friend, hopefully you enjoyed that short clip on how to become an influencer and you got a little bit more clarity on the importance of having your why in place to become an influencer. And Flat, do me a favor, comment in the chat, why do you want to become a social media influencer? And as I promised, I'm going to give you two free gifts in order to help you accelerate your journey of becoming an influencer on social media. First is my book, Monetize My Life, four incredibly simple ways to turn your passions into profit with little to no startup costs. When you grab this book, you're also gonna get instant access to my most popular course for free, right? And that course is called How to Become an Influencer. So make sure that you click on the link in the description, check that out. Also, make sure you like, comment, and turn on the bell notification so that you get notified as we release the other parts in this series. Hopefully you found this valuable and you'll continue to support the channel. Until next time, get your money up because you absolutely can do it. But more importantly, you deserve to do it, each and every single one of you. Now hustle up.